Do bigger muscles need stronger man? Well, no, but let me explain. Bodybuilders look insanely strong. They act strong, they look strong, but they are not strong. Because bodybuilders do not train for strength. Instead, they train for muscular growth or muscular hypertrophy. The difference between training for strength and muscular hypertrophy is simple. Muscular hypertrophy is when you try to break down each individual muscle fibers in said muscle in order to enact growth. However, strength is more dependent on the neuromuscular component, meaning your brain ability to send signals to the muscle. And this is accomplished with maximum load with low reps in the strength building rep range and with longer rest periods. And when you take account for relative strength, a lot of bodybuilders are actually a lot weaker than you expect them to be. Strength is correlated with body weight. So bodybuilders who weigh 200 plus pounds should be insanely strong, right? Let's take Seabum for example. Chris Bumstead has been training for over a decade, and as a trained athlete, he should be able to comfortably bench two times his body weight for reps. And since Seabum weighs 230 to 260 pounds, he should be able to bench over 400 pounds. However, from sources I found online, it stated that he could only bench 285 pounds for reps. Yes, this is pretty impressive, but for his body weight, it's kind of sad. Muscles are like engines. The more engines you have, the more potential energy you have. Bodybuilders have a ton of engines. However, majority of their engines don't work. They don't function properly. Instead, it weighs them down. That's why bodybuilders can look really strong, but they aren't actually really strong. Because their muscles as engines don't work or function properly, it's going to be dead weight because muscle is still body weight. So instead, it just slows them down. So how can a bodybuilder train for strength? And can a bodybuilder use his ridiculous excessive amount of muscle for strength? This theory will explain, can the bodybuilder's excessive amount of steroid muscles help him achieve superhuman strength? And is this even feasible? Firstly, the science. Do bigger muscles mean more strength? Well, obviously stated before, no, because training for strength and training for hypertrophy are completely different. However, there is a theory. The more muscles you have, the more first say engines you have in your body and if you activate all those engines the more power you can output because strength is more reliant on a neuromuscular component or your brain's ability to send signals to the muscle technically with more muscle there are more signals that can be sent therefore you can generate more force and more load so potentially if bodybuilders train for strength yes they could have superhuman strength the more muscle you have means the more potential strength it means the more places you bring signals to the muscles in order to generate even more load this is why some athletes go on periodic blocks of hypertrophy training to further increase muscle mass to build potential strength bodybuilders can have extremely high superhuman strength but how can they achieve this it's pretty simple they need to switch from hypertrophy to strength training how can bodybuilders switch from hypertrophy to strength training. Well, it's pretty simple. They just need to adopt strength training. First thing they need to do is the rep range. The hypertrophy rep range starts at six to 12. This is the most common hypertrophy rep range used. However, to build strength, you must lift heavier weights with a lower rep range. Bodybuilders need to increase the weight they're comfortable with and lift under five reps, five reps being the maximum. To train your central nervous system, you need to increase the amount of load and lower the reps. After doing this, you still need to train intensely, close to muscular failure. However, I wouldn't recommend you go past it or it'll create even more fatigue that will wear you down for your next set. Afterwards, you need to take long rest periods. For hypertrophy, most bodybuilders rest between 30 seconds to 2 minutes. This is too little. In order for strength training, you need to rest 3 to 5 minutes at max. Of course, this can vary from individual to individual, but generally speaking, this is the range for most people. The reason is because you want to perform at 100% for each set. Unlike hypertrophy, where you want to break down muscle fibers, in order to build strength, you must perform well. You must have enough rest. You must not be fatigued because to build strength, you must be lifting very intensely. Intensity is your best friend here. You cannot lift intensely if you are fatigued, so you must take longer rest periods. Next step, next is to focus on compound movements. No, this does not mean get rid of isolation movements completely. Switching from bodybuilding to powerlifting, of course you gotta lift with compound movements. 
Start your workouts with major compound movements that you're prioritizing. For example, weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, or maybe the squat, overhead press, bench press, deadlift, whatever it is that you want to prioritize on that specific day, you must start off with it. If you don't and you start up with something else, then you're going to be fatigued and you won't be able to perform at 100% capacity for that specific exercise that you are prioritizing. Most compound movements require the stability and strength needed to build strength in strength training. And these exercises are what challenge your body and your, center, and your central nervous system the most. Finally, it's progressive overload. Yes, in bodybuilding, this is required. However, for strength training, what you wanna focus on is not the sets, not the amount of reps, not the amount of rest time, but rather the weight. You want to increase your weight steadily over time. If you switch from bodybuilding to strength training, you're gonna see astronomical strength gains in a short amount of time, despite being an intermediate or even an advanced lifter. But note that this spike in strength will only last so long. In summary, bodybuilders can become the strongest people alive in terms of absolute strength. Your insanely huge amounts of muscle can actually help them in strength training. If you want to see who's stronger between a bodybuilder and a calisthenics athlete or absolute strength versus relative strength, click on this video right here. Click on this video right here for my newest upload. And also, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you don't subscribe, I'll come to your house and I'll break in.